Hi there, boys and girls. Sorry I'm so late with story time tonight. We were in Oklahoma City all day looking at cars for Kian. He's almost old enough to start driving, so we gotta start looking for cars. Tonight we're gonna read the story Arthur's First Sleepover by Mark Brown. Arthur was getting ready for his first sleepover. It isn't until Saturday, called Mother. Come in and eat your breakfast. He's so excited he can't wait. He's got his tent set up and everything. Father laughed while he read the paper. Some man in town says he saw a spaceship, he chuckled. Probably the same man who thinks he saw Elvis at the mall, joked Mother. I don't believe in aliens, said Arthur. Well, the National Requirer does, said D.W., and they'll pay a lot of money for a picture of one. On the way to school, the girls were talking about the spaceship. Arthur wanted to talk about his sleepover. We can have the sleepover in my tent, said Arthur. You wouldn't catch me out in a tent with these spaceships landing, said Muffy. Bad news, said Buster. My mom thinks I'm too young for a sleepover. I can't come. But you have to, said Arthur. It's my first sleepover, and you're my best friend. Why do they call, the, why do they call them sleepovers, said Francine. No one ever sleeps. <coughs> that afternoon, Arthur told his mother about Buster's problem. Remember, he can't come over. Well, I'll see what I can do, said Mother. Arthur crossed his fingers while she dialed. Buster's mom did all the talking. Yes? No, of course not, said Mother. Absolutely. Good talking to you. Good talking with you. Bye bye. Mother smiled and nodded her head. Yes. I think that means Buster gets to come over. Hooray! cried Arthur. Does Buster's mom know about the spaceship? asked D.W. I saw flashing lights from one today. I think that was the pizza shop sign, said Mother. Saturday morning, Arthur was outside making his tent cozy for his sleepover. His family helped, too. I was just thinking, said D.W., how do we know you're our real parents and not aliens in their bodies? Did you brush your teeth, asked, fa asked Father, and pick up that mess in your room, said Mother. Okay, okay, said D.W. They sound like real parents to me, said Arthur. Do you think aliens would ask you to clean up your room? And brush your teeth. I think that's their parents. That's mom and dad. Arthur was looking for his flashlight when Buster and the brain arrived. It was here a minute ago, said Arthur. I wonder if you'll see any aliens, said D.W. If we do, said the brain, how will we communicate with them? Forget about communicating, said D.W. Take pictures for the National Requirer. Use my camera and we can split the money. Let's make some signs, said Arthur. Good idea, said Buster, but first I have to call my mom. After they finished their signs, they unpacked. Oh, their signs say, aliens welcome. We are your friends. Please do my homework. After they finished the signs, they unpacked. I brought a few snacks, said the brain. I brought a rubber snake, said Arthur, to keep D.W. away. What did you bring, Buster? Just my baseball cards and my blankie. Do you think we'll really see some aliens tonight? No. Do you? asked Arthur. Highly unlikely, said the brain. The boys forgot all about the aliens. And they were, excuse me, they were too busy telling jokes and trading baseball cards. Pillow fight, screamed Buster. Quiet, said the brain. What's that sound? Footsteps, whispered Buster. And they're getting closer, said Arthur. Uh-oh. Pizza delivery, called an unfamiliar voice. 
compliments of the sleepover parents. Everyone laughed. I almost stopped breathing, said Arthur. I almost wet my pants, said Buster. They heard footsteps, and it was the pizza delivery guy. That's always good for a sleepover, having pizza. Before they knew it, they heard another voice. Lights out, said Father. It's after nine. It's bedtime. Already? asked Arthur. Thank you for the pizza, sir, said the brain. You're welcome, said Father. Now good night. Good night, said the boys, sweetly. We're saying good night. Time for bed. As soon as they heard Father go back in the house, they shot out of their sleeping bags like cannonballs. I heard bedtime, said the brain, but I didn't hear sleep time. Let's tell spooky stories, said Arthur. How about some cards? suggested Buster. I don't think Buster wants to get scared, does he? Just as it was, Ar as it was Arthur's turn to play... <laughs> Excuse me. Just as it was Arthur's turn to go fish, they saw the flashing lights. They dropped their cards, and it got very quiet. Aliens, whispered Buster. I don't hear any footsteps whispered Arthur. Of course not, said the brain. They haven't landed yet. The lights flashed again. They headed, excuse me, they're heading for our tent. Run for your life! No one could find the flaps. Help, screamed Buster. Let me out. The tent collapsed, but that didn't stop them from making a run for it. But a large maple tree did. Ouch, said Arthur. I'm calling my mom, said Buster. They took off running and messed up their tent. And they ran right into that maple tree. Ouch. Look, said the brain, the lights are coming from your house. I think I know this alien, said Arthur. It's from the planet DW. Arthur noticed the things that they used to make signs. And that gave him an idea. Let's put our tent back up. I think I know a way we can teach that little space creature a lesson. He's kind of upset at DW, isn't he? She's shining the flashlight looking for aliens. They thought it was an alien ship. Later, Arthur crept into the house. DW was in her room laughing. What's so funny, he asked. What are you doing up here? Asked DW. Did you come in because you're scared? Not really, said Arthur. I'm returning your camera. You'll probably see an alien before we will. I doubt it, said DW. Well, just in case. Here's your camera. Sweet dreams. Then very quietly, he returned to the tent. A minute later, DW heard a tap, tap at her window. When she looked, she screamed. Oh, dear. She screamed so loud it woke everyone up in the neighborhood. Everyone except Buster the Brain and Arthur. Because when Mother and Father went out to check on the boys, they were sleeping like little angels. Is it really an alien? Look closely. You see the stick? I think that's one of those signs that they had. It made it look like an alien. Of course, after mother and father went back into the house, it was another story. I don't think they're sleeping at all. Do you see the, the wood, the tools they used to make it look like an alien? The end. Arthur's first sleepover. Oh, and if you look, there, it's DW. It says, Girl's Dramatic Encounter. And it says, National Require, Girl Sees Alien. She told them all about seeing an alien. Not a real alien. That's silly. I hope you enjoyed our story. Sorry I'm late. 
We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.